Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. All GFCI requirements are listed in 210.8. Is this true or false? Well, the answer to this one is actually false. When we head over to 210.8, we're going to find a huge list of receptacles, hardwired outlets, and even some lighting outlets that require GFCI protection. And after you read these couple of pages, you figure, surely this is everything that there has to be. And then this guy pops up, almost like that car salesman that you try to avoid. And he says, but wait, there's more. I truly wish that we could just memorize everything in 210.8 and be completely covered as far as GFCI protection. But unfortunately, the way that the code is constructed, that's not physically possible. We have to understand two things when we're dealing with any type of circuitry. Where are we and what are we installing? Where are we? What type of location am I in? Am I in a kitchen? Am I in a bathroom? Am I outdoors? Is this a wet location or a damp location? And what am I installing? If we can answer those two questions, we'll usually be able to find the sections in the code that we need to make sure that we're code compliant. A couple specific areas that I want to call out that I really want you to pay attention to is 422.5. When you get to 422.5, it's going to call out specific appliances. Now, thankfully, this one is directly tied with 210.8. I believe it's part D, depending on what code cycle you're in. And it's going to lead you and send you over here to 422.5. And in the same way, if you're an appliance person, it will also say, hey, there's other GFCI requirements back here in 210.8. But in 422.5, it calls out specific appliances, whether receptacles or hardwired, it calls them out by name. It says, hey, on top of everything in 210.8, we're also going to make these specific appliances, whether in, and it doesn't specify whether it's in a dwelling unit or in other than dwelling unit. So these are these appliances, regardless of where they are. And you have to watch out for this one. It's a very important code. And it's expanded every year from the 17 to the 20 to the 2023 it is very expansive and it covers a lot more specific appliances. I call them call out items. It calls out ranges, it calls out dryers. But if you're not on the 23, we won't bore you with those details today. Just make sure that you're covering everything in 210.8 and then everything in 422.5. Another one that can sneak up on you is for EVSE, electric vehicle supply equipment. Now we're likely gonna call it just a car charger, but if you are dealing with the receptacles for those, not every hardwire unit, now if your manufacturer spec calls for it to be GFCI protected, then do it. But when you're dealing with the receptacle type, if they are for electric vehicle charging, they have to be GFCI protected regardless of where they are. So just keep that in mind. These are just a couple call out items in 422.5 for specific appliances and 625.54 for the receptacles used for electric vehicle supply equipment. And these are just a couple areas that we need to watch out for on top of everything in 210.8. I am the electrical code coach. And just remember these two things today. Always think about where you're wiring and what you're wiring, and you'll be able to get to the right place in the code. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. My bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will go out and in turn add value to others. Let's get to it.